Because you always know you gotta have the pregame show. Mr. Liquor Sipper Whiskey Reviews because some of this whiskey sucks! What is up everyone? My name's Brenner. Welcome to my channel. This is Mr. Liquor Sipper. Today we are doing a review over Sagamore Spirit Sherry Finish Rye. This bottle comes in at 53% alcohol by volume, which puts it at 106 proof. And a very tiny, tiny little label here where it says 106 proof. You wouldn't even know, allegedly. This thing is supposed to be so damn good, so damn smooth. It will remind you of your last bowel movement. So, let's go ahead and find the little tabaroo and peel this sucker off because it seems to me that you guys, ooh, hello dear, are liking a lot of these little quick, oh that sounds a little bit weird and Irish, doesn't it dear? It was supposed to be Mrs. Doubtfire, but I went a little bit higher on the note. So we're gonna go ahead, do a little pour for the horse. Pour for the whores. Now, straight off the pour here, you can tell, look at this thing, it's super dark. It's very nice, it's very elegant, it looks very sensual, like it could lead to a nice, nasty, ferocious, Jurassic Park night in the bedroom. Now, of course, we can't go any further without aerating this thing and doing a little swirls for the girls and some twisters for the misters. And would you look at that? I got it right this time. And you also can't forget the best part of this damn show is nosing for newbies, nosing for boobies, nosing for Scooby Doo. All right. It smells like a bum sleeping bag. It also smells like syphilis had sex with gonorrhea and made a disgusting baby. It smells like a baby shit on an airplane and there's no way out. You just gotta breathe it in, breathe it out. Isn't that a song? Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Oh yeah, it smells like shared prison soap, but they all drop the soap. It also smells like a slight subtle difference between raw shrimp and dirty vagina. If that sounds appetizing to you, that's weird. You need to go tell her to take a shower. Okay, let me contain myself. And now we're gonna go to the real nose for all the sophisticated assholes that are out there, all the whiskey snobs. Um, yeah, that's very brown sugary. Almost uh, brown sugary, a little gingerbready, maple syrup, uh, some dried fruit, and a little bit of like honeycomb, kind of like the cereal honeycomb. I don't, I don't know if anyone out there, I'm sure you guys have had honeycomb. It's not the greatest cereal, but you know, when you're poor, it works in a pinch. You don't even need milk sometimes. You just put some water in it. Where in this case, whiskey. All right, but the real telling here is how good is the whiskey? Does it taste? Does the taste mirror the nose? So from the nostrils to the bar stools, let's see how things go. From the jump, the warmth, there is no real strong Kentucky burn because probably it's because it's from Baltimore, Maryland and it's not really one of those things. You're not gonna get a real good kick from that. That being said, that is what makes this very nice. It is very, very fruity, incredibly fruity off the top. The sweetness is there. Uh, uh, at the end, like I'm just now getting a little bit of the warmth in my throat. That's what she said. Ooh. Um, a little bit of the black cherries. I feel like black cherry is almost very prominent on this one. Um, you know how they say the, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Dude! I'm wearing the greatest color for this because it mimics the cherry color. I mean, purely coincidental. But um, 
I have no affiliation with Sagamore or any of the whores that uh, work over there. I have no relationship with any of the rides or any of these bottles or any of these people. This is my simple review. I'm not asking you to join my Patreon or pay me any money or buy any of my clothing. I am simply here to have a good time with you and jump in the sack or you can jump on mine. We can have a love sack. It's a little uh, place where we can get together. It's my love sack, baby, yeah. It's a love sack, baby. Love sack, baby, love sack. I don't know if you guys know that song, but stick another dime in the jukebox, baby. All in all, this thing is sweet, it's nice, it's cherry, it's fruity, heavy cherry, heavy black cherry, but there's a little bit of other fruits in there I can't quite put my finger on. Um, <clears throat> is, this a, is this a sipper or a skipper? Obviously, judging by me jumping out of my butthole and giving myself a vasectomy, you can see here that I am very excited about this Sagamore. What's cool about this is that it has that fruity elegance. It reminds me of a nice um, holiday candle in a way that you would light up. And it just, uh, it's very refreshing to the air. Something that's inviting and nice to walk into, which is the same thing that you get for the nosing. It is purely enjoyable at best. And at worst, there is no at worst. It's just good. Now, um, as I noted, uh, Sagamore Spirit is known more for um, its focus upon rye whiskeys. Um, again, it does come from Maryland Distillery, uh, and they, this is actually something that's recently been released, from my understanding. So this is uh, it's not like the newest of deals. They ha they have another bottle, a Double Oak, that I will be reviewing here in the near future because I'm actually really excited about that. Um, and I, I I said, you know what? I'm here. I'm gonna go ahead and get both bottles. So according to behind the scenes, behind the doctors and scientists that created this thing, um, it was aged initially uh, four years uh, as a straight rye whiskey uh, and then aged again for an additional 18 months and 100, 132 gallon PX sherry barrels, uh, coaxing for what's described as rye whiskey with uh, velvety notes and toasted almond, dried fig, candied orange peel, and soft spice. Um, now that they mention it, I do get a little bit of that almond in there, a little bit of that citrus that does come from maybe like a, a slight little bitterness, I think that comes from the actual orange peel itself, um, and the soft spice that's there. It's like uh, Bill Nye went ahead and just threw some baking soda in here. Baking soda, I got baking soda. That's a weird song. Um, anyway, is this a sipper or a skipper? I think I told you guys this is definitely a sipper from Mr. Liquor Sipper. How much did I pay for this? Where's my receipt? I paid according to my receipt, which is probably wrong in some states, but uh, $89.99. Um, the tax is outrageous here, so I won't even include that. So, but we'll just say you're roughly ninety dollars. If you're interested in this, you should, in fact, be able to pick this up at a Total Wine, at a Specs, at your local pharmacy, drug people, whatever, at your local bartender, at your local guy that stands on the side of the road that's potentially selling stuff illegally uh, down in some alley next to a bar where you can't find anything but somehow this guy managed to have Weller 12 I don't know anyway appreciate you guys jumping in the glass with me sipping on some information don't forget to tell your friends your homies your enemies your lawyers your doctors and the scientists that I uh, sometimes will talk to on occasion whenever I want to go and hang out with Elon Musk and hang out at NASA which is also not true because that's uh, actually SpaceX so I screwed that lie up anyway thanks again and until next time Holy shit, that was a good one. Cheers, and keep on sipping, bitches. I feel like the Hunchback and Notre Dame with the Glen Karen glass and some whiskey. I feel very catwalk straight.